Hi there, Martin Priest here from Urban Wildlife Tips and today I want to be talking about cleaning the moth trap ready for, for the uh, spring and the, and the summer. But also as well, a little tip for you, how this little can could well help you get more moths in your moth trap. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So let's talk about the moth trap and cleaning it. I like to really clean the moth trap every, every spring um, so that it's nice and clean and take everything apart and if you can come in a little bit closer you'll see that everything is nice and clean it's all nice and clean I've uh, even bought new bulbs and everything all inside the moth trap is also nice and clean so that um, you know that it's ready for, for the uh, spring and the summer if we move on to this moth trap as well here which is a different sort of moth trap there's all sorts of different moth traps as you know there's plenty of videos out out there but uh, for moth trap and um, if you can see in here this is a different type of one again all nice and clean everything's clean uh, all the perspex is, is clean and everything now i mentioned about um this little product right that might just help you because uh, it certainly helped me uh, in getting uh, more moths and that is simple furniture polish i won't show you the, the the actual brand but furniture polish and what I, what i do with this and i do this every every so often the main thing is these veins the veins because if you think about it if this is all dirty and rough when the moth goes against this right it's probably might not all of the moths might not get in also again round here this is this is the actual bowl where the the actual um, moths are going to go in so what i will do is i will spray inside there and polish it so that the moths will slide in a lot more easily and it does actually work if we can just go back again to this one here again if the camera can just see inside there now if you think about it Again, if these are all dirty uh, and, uh, and, and filthy and things on that line, as the moth comes in, it doesn't actually slide in. But what we'll do, we'll go inside and I'll demonstrate that once you've put a little bit of furniture polish on here and polish them up, the, the difference between a moth sliding down sort of gingerly, and you might miss that particular moth, and it, when you've polished it, it sort of just slides in. It's quite remarkable. So let's go inside and I'll show you exactly what I'm meaning. So we're back inside now. Um, this is our pretend moth and he comes along and drops in. And you can see there was a little bit of a judder. Just say that that bumped into another moth as it was trying to get in. If it wasn't a complete slide through. It could be off and you've missed it. So let's, let's have a, a go now and we'll polish that. Now, we've got this furniture polish here. We don't need a lot on. Just a, a quick squirt and a good polish. And what I do is I polish both sides so that um, when you do change your, uh, when you do look at your moths, um, you're not, uh, you can put it onto both sides. So you'll always be there. So that's nicely polished and don't forget what I said about the veins anywhere where a moth comes into contact we'll rescue our pretend moth here we'll put that back in there and we'll see how it goes now well straight in do you understand what I mean so you know yes it's not it's not the be end, end and be all of, of everything but it's just that little bit of an extra that uh, helps your moth get more moths in your moth trap nice and slides in instead of all that dirt that will maybe just stop the moth going in so hopefully you've got a little bit of something out of it give it a go see what you think uh, you can always uh, drop us a comment or if you've got some other um, things that you might think are, are good for uh, getting more moths into your moth trap that's brilliant uh, and don't forget to subscribe because it keeps me a bit motivated uh, good moth in and i shall see you in the next videos thank you bye for now Thank you.